Hello SDI students. I want to make this real quick video on the extractor plunger assembly. I did notice on one of the student assignment videos that this was put in backwards. So a good thing to check. Also good to know how to look for this because it's easy enough. You don't even have to take the gun apart. You can tell by looking behind the extractor if this was done properly or not. So here's my Glock 17. I'm zoomed in because I want to take a close look at the extractor. Of course, we know the first thing that we're going to do is clear the firearm. Lock the slide to the rear. Check, check. Okay, so this is clear. Turning this around. So look behind the extractor and you can see the extractor plunger. Trying to get a good look at this. You see that it is a bright silvery looking metal part. This is installed properly. Okay, so I'm going to field strip this. Again, I always double check I'm about to pull the trigger. So, I'm field strip this. Uh, take off the stop plate. Now, we take off the stop plate, notice back here, you see, uh, get a good close look here. You see the spring-loaded bearing. This is a polymer part. Okay, that's a little bit of a closer look. So that's the spring-loaded bearing, and it's attached to the spring, and as I pull this out, you see it's attached to the plunger. And the plunger, this is the way it's supposed to go in. If this is put in backwards, if you put the spring-loaded bearing in first, you can put it in and you can put on the stop plate. And what it's going to look like over here now, if you look, you can see that now instead of seeing that bright metal part there, what you're seeing is the spring-loaded bearing. So plastic on metal up there, that is no bueno. That's not going to work. As you fire the pistol, and the action is working, that spring-loaded bearing against the extractor is going to become damaged and it's going to fail. It's going to chew that part up. So the proper way to put this in, again, metal first. Put the metal part of the plunger, that goes in, followed by the spring and the spring-loaded bearing. Now I can put the stop plate back on. Stop plate is on. And now all is right with the world again. That is in there properly. So it's easy enough to check this. If you look at a pistol and you look in this little open area here, you should see the metal extractor plunger. You should not see polymer back there. And that's how you can tell if your extractor assembly is put in properly, even without disassembling or even field stripping your pistol. If you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to give me a shout. That is what I'm here for.